Welcome to the All-Star Math Video Tutor. This is Mrs. Dorless, and the topic of this lesson is variables and expressions. So let's kind of explain some terminology, because that's basically what this lesson is about. First, we have what we call an expression. An expression has no equal sign. Okay, so that's important to know. There is no equal sign when we have an expression. Okay, next we have the definition of a variable. A variable is any letter in the alphabet, A, B, C, X, Z, any of our 26 choices, that would be a variable. Now we have what we call a numerical expression, and what a numerical expression is, when we take two numbers and we put an operation in between them. Remember our choices of operations are adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. So 2 plus 3 is a numerical expression. 12 minus 5 is a numerical expression. So those are some examples of numerical expressions. Now we have what we call variable expressions. And what those are is that, again, we're going to have one of these operations involved, but we're also going to have a variable in there too, such as a plus 2 or b squared plus b. These are examples of variable expressions. Now let's take a look at how we write variable expressions and we want to take a look at some words, some words that will help us out. So let's take a look at these words right here. Total, more than, increased by, above, add, sum. Now you probably have noticed that all of these words all represent addition. Anytime we see these words here, we want to think about adding. Let's take a look at a list of another set of words. Difference, less than, fewer than, decreased by, below, subtract. This group of numbers remind us of the subtraction sign or the minus sign. So when we see these words, we know that we are subtracting something from something. This next group of words we're going to look at, product, times, twice. These words should all remind us of multiplication. Now I'm using an X right now to show multiplication, but you've also seen it as a dot. We prefer using the dot because an X kind of reminds us of a variable. Some other words we might have seen, quotient, divided by. These words would remind us of something in division. And we're used to the division sign, but also in pre-algebra we use a fraction bar. We'll have something divided by something. So we're going to be more inclined to use the fraction bar than the division sign. And the last thing we're going to look at is when we see the words the quantity of. When we see the words the quantity of, we want to think about parentheses. Parentheses are somehow involved in the expression or in the equation. Now let's take a look at a few problems and how we would write these. The total of H and 56. We know total represents addition, so we're going to put our H and 56. Take a look at another problem here. P decreased by 3. Well, we know the word decreased represents subtraction, and we're decreased by 3, so we're subtracting 3 from P. The next one we're going to look at is the quotient of Y and 24. We know that quotient is division, and again, like I mentioned earlier, we want to get to using a fraction bar and away from the division sign. So the quotient of y and 24. The first number would be the numerator, the second number would be the denominator. In the last one we're going to look at, three times the quantity of 2 plus a. So we know the quantity of, these words here, represent parentheses. So if I want the quantity of 2 plus a, this is what's inside the parentheses. So I'll put that in there, 2 plus a. And I want 3 times that, so the 3 will go outside to represent the multiplication. And that is the end of this All-Star Math video lesson.